Hello everyone, Amod here from your target common tube channel and this video will be continuation of this threshold end to end framework playlist video series. I have explained in my previous videos where I read the data from an excel sheet in a format of map. You can see that I have created one utility under the excel util that get excel data as list of map and we have written a lot of code here. After reading the data as a map then I am converting those data into my ln pojo then I am returning one iterator. Will it not be good if we directly get the data as pojo instead of reading it as map and then creating the pojo object this we can achieve using a library called poeji so this is the official github page of poeji library poeji is a tiny thread safe java library that provides one way mapping from excel sheets to java classes means we can directly read the data or directly we can convert the excel data into java classes so in this video i will just cover the basics of poeg how can we get the data from excel as a pojo class and i will make a separate playlist on this library so let's start with this so first i need to go to maven center repository and i need to get the current version of poeg library so i have copied the dependency of poeg and i will go to my pom.xml to add the dependency and do the maven phrase so that it will download the dependency for you so how it works so i will use the same excel sheet whatever we have so here i have these fields which we are passing as part of my payload so i have given the name like id name country logo slogan headquarters website and established this will be like geo cell first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so let me create a new pojo class i don't want to change the existing one i just want to show you the basic concept of poeg so let me name it as like airline poeg so in this new pojo class i will have the same same fields whatever we have in the airline so let me copy those fields here i am not using any default value here from my excel sheet for the value of id or name of our country should be automatically mapped to these fields so for that you we need to use some annotations for id i know that the field the id column name is id and it will be on 0th index so we can use any annotation like you can use the excel cell name or you can use the index means in the x at excel sheet here you can add the index as 0 so what it will do it will take the value of the 0th index like random number underscore 6 and it will assign to this one similarly for all other rows or what we can do we can use the name name of the header so for that we need to use the excel cell name and here you can pass the name like what is the header so better to use the name so that if you just change the indexes then also it will not have any impact on this one and there is no need to use any getters and setter explicitly until you need to go and change the value that i will show you later so th that's all you need to do you just need to create the pojo class with all those fields whatever you have in excel sheet and then simply you need to do the mapping you can use the index or you can use the cell name anything is fine but i suggest you to use the excel cell name now let me create a test class poeg test let me create a main method you need to call the static method from poeg class we have one method called from excel and here to pass the excel path so let me copy the excel path from here you need to pass a new file and pass the path then you need to pass in which pojo class you want it to map so i need to pass like a line poj dot class and the return type of this method you can see it is a list of your type you can see it's like generic list of t so t you are passing here so you need to have it as like list of a line poj let me simply print the data let me run the program okay so we can see that it is printing the airline poeg difference so for that what i need to do i will go to my poeg class and here i will simply add the annotation called to string which will coming from lombok why i am doing it because i want to see the values instead of this reference of the pojo object i want to see the value so i need to add the add to string annotation so let me run the test case again and this time i should able to see the values okay so here you can see that airline poji we have the pojo name and then we have id equal to zero name name as airline pluto one container so whatever we have here everything is coming here so let me 
copy and show you in Notepad++. So here you can see it is reading the values for 5 rows and we have the value whatever we have in Excel sheet. But you need to notice one thing that the second one for ID we have the value at 0. If you see my Excel sheet here I am passing the string. Here we have integer but for remaining I have string. And if you see the POJO class here I am passing like it should be int. So this library automatically handling the things if suppose we are not passing the correct data then it is taking the default value it's not giving any casting or any different exception but it is simply giving the default value so to handle this way because i want that it should generate my random data as per my excel sheet whatever data we are passing we have already achieved in my previous videos so same thing i will explain in next video where how can we achieve the same thing using the POG1. Another important concept here, suppose I have multiple headquarters, then you can pass the multiple values like Delhi, then you can pass Bengaluru or Mumbai. So I just pass three headquarters here. So to read the data in this way, what you need to do simply go to your POJO class and for the headquarters instead of a string, you just need to use list of string. And if I run the test case now, we can see that it is reading the value as list of string all the headquarters value you can see it here by default the delimiter is comma but if you want to change it right if you want to use like semicolon then you can put the semicolon but you need to say POG configuration that okay you have used some different delimiter you need to use the POG options means you need to use the POG options and then you need to call the builders and here we have one method called settings dot add list delimiter here into pass which delimiter we have used so we have used the semicolon so use the semicolon and simply call the build method these all are following the builder pattern so we need to use this code and already we have seen this code previously and this will return you one POG option so let me store into a variable called option. So in the from Excel method, we just need to pass a third argument and that will be option. So this time, this option will say that, okay, don't use the comma as a delimiter, use the semicolon because I am using semicolon. So you can see that it is reading the value now. Let me show you one more concept which is very important. Suppose here, I am going to add more fields like CEO, then I will add revenue. Let me add one more employee count and let me randomly add some values here. So sometimes you may have some dynamic payloads and you are not sure like how many fields will be there. So instead of creating the new properties in the POJO class, we can use some feature properties provided by POG. That means POG provides one annotation called Excel unknown sales. So let me use the Excel unknown sales. And here it will give you like a map of string string and you can name it anything like unknown or extra sales. So what it will do, it will parse or it will read the value and will assign to whatever you have properties defined in your POJO class and whatever remaining like here I have three remaining because we added three new fields all those three new fields will come under the trussel so let me run the program and show you so if I scroll right you can see here we have one new property extra sales inside the extra sales we have the all those fields so this way we can handle the dynamic payloads as well so this is really a good library and it depends on you how how can you use it more effectively they have very well documented every features of this library in their github page i will suggest you to go and read that anyway i will make some videos on different features of this library but if you want to learn more in meanwhile you can go and refer the github page so that's all in this video in the next video i will explain how can we use this poetry library for our test case and also i will show you that how can we generate the random data so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with us thank you everyone